What's good, y'all? Snap turtle in the building. Just got through doing a few rounds. But I wanted to show y'all what a proper punch looks like. All right, first let's start with the basics. How you make a fist, okay? So, it's very important how you make a fist, okay? Now, I rap, right? Just, just for precaution. But if you make a proper fist and you strike properly, some people feel like you ne don't necessarily need to rap, right? But you might slip up sometimes. People are clumsy. You're not going to you're not going to make the perfect strike every time. So, I rap just in case, all right? Sometimes you forget because this is this is the deal. It's important that you're relaxed, right? Everything is relaxed until you make that punch, until you throw that punch. And then you only tense up and you only use that power at the end of the punch, okay? So for the entire time, I'm like, I'm like this. Even if I'm wearing gloves, my hands are open, I'm relaxed, my shoulders are relaxed, I got the head movement going, right? Got the head movement going, right? Okay? Now, what I mean by um, using that power at the end of the punch, that just means that's, that's when you get that snap in, okay? But first, let me talk about that, uh, the fist, okay? So, to make a proper fist, you take your hand, right? Like this, all right? You roll your fingers down, and you tuck them in, all right? That gives you a nice, good, solid grip, okay? You tuck those in, and you put your thumb here, all right? This locks in, all right? This locks your fist in. This locks your wrist in, all right? So my, my wrist is like this, okay? Your wrist is nice and straight. When you lock that thumb down, this muscle engages here, okay? I don't, you know, it's cold out here, so I got this, I got layers on. But you lock this muscle in, okay? All right? You got that proper fist going, and it's like this. It's nice and sturdy and solid. Now, when you actually go to strike something, or someone, this you, what you want to do is you want to strike with these two knuckles, all right? The forefinger and the ring finger, all right? That's what you want to strike with. And you want your wrist straight, okay? You want a straight line from this knuckle all the way to your elbow, at least, okay? I'm not going to say shoulder, because sometimes you're going to throw a hook, and you throw that hook, you know, it's like this. Right, your shoulders up to protect your chin, okay? And you're still striking with these two knuckles. And you still have that straight line going all the way, right, from your, uh, from your knuckle all the way to your elbow in terms of the bone, okay? That stabilizes your arm, it stabilizes your wrist, and prevents injury, okay? Now... You have some of these people that'll tell you, don't punch, don't, do not punch in a street fight. But if you pay attention to that technique and you master that technique, you can punch somebody in a street fight and be okay. Even if you hit something hard, right? Like the forehead. The forehead, you don't want to strike the forehead. You want to stick to the chin, maybe the hinge of the jaw, the nose, under the eyes, the eyes, if you can get those knuckles in there. You know what I'm saying? Especially the cheek. There's a bunch of nerves there that if you strike it properly, it'll really do some damage. All right? So, now, now that we have that established, right? Your thumb locks in here. Not, not underneath. You can't go underneath, but I like to go here because what happens if I hit somebody hard enough and I hit them accidentally with this, you know, it, it, I want to have that locked in here. Okay? That way... It gives me more enterprising strikes. All right, so now I'm going to talk about the actual strike itself, okay? So when you're here, before you engage, you're relaxed, even if you faint, right? You fainting, bam, bam. All right, you fainting, hands are closed, hands are open. 
All right, now, this takes perfect timing, okay? Because you do not wanna use inner energy that you don't have to. That's important. You wanna have more energy and more win than your opponent, okay? So now, let's see, let me jump over here. I have my, uh, my headhunter ball here. Now, I don't have any type of stand or anything, so I'm gonna try to get this phone to stand up perfectly. Right. Here. There. Now. Oop. Uh oh. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. All right. So I'm relaxed, right? I got to kind of be out of the frame to show you. So another thing is you want to memorize your range. You want to get your range down, okay? It's never going to change. Your arm length does not change. And once you start stepping, once you step into the punch, you'll know how far you'll step and how far that arm will get you. Okay, so you want to you want to know your range. It's very important because you know some guys measure, right? They'll measure. They're in the fight. They're putting their arm out there to measure so they can come with that 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 uh, cross. All right, but. You know, I don't like to put my arm out there, especially in a street fight. You don't know what a cat knows. You put your arm out there, they can grab it up real quick and tie you up and put you in an arm bar or something. I ain't with that, okay? So know your range. You want to practice your range. So one way to do that, okay, you practice your step, right? You step in, you step out, right? You know what your step is. You know how far you step out. And then at the same time, you begin to throw that punch, throw that jab, right? Okay, so now, another important thing. To get that range, you fully extend your arm until it touches the target, right? Then you take a half step back. That's your range. So if I throw that jab, bam, I'm here, bam. See how I'm striking it? Bam. But I'm here at first. When I take that step, I'm bam, I'm with that. I'm bam, see, bam, bam. And then, even if I throw, a, even if I faint with the jab or throw a, a flick, flick a jab out there, flick a jab, I'm coming with my cross real quick. Flick a jab, bam, just like that. See how quick that was and smooth? Bam, flick that jab, boom, bam, just like that. Flick, bam, flick, bam, okay, now. Another thing about a punch, okay? This is very important as well. To maintain that straight line from the knuckle to the elbow, you need to punch straight out, okay? That means, and this also help keep you from telegraphing, okay? Some people, now when I flick, I might flare my elbow out there because I want them to anticipate it. I want them to see it coming, okay? I think my children are lurking us. Yes? I like an apple. All right, <laughs> let her have an apple. They came all the way out here. Anyway, and they're next, by the way. I'm gonna get them out here. I'll, first, I do my workout so I don't interfere with my own workout. Then I get them out here and I work them out, my kids. All right, so look, when I flick, that's a setup. Bam, bam, I'm not really throwing any power behind the jab, right? Bam, bam, see, it's a flick. When I flick my jab, my elbow might come out because I want them to think that I'm putting something behind that. I want them to see it, see it coming, right? Because I might come with that, that cross or an uppercut so I might throw a double jab, bam, bam, uppercut. I'm stepping in with that uppercut, just like that, okay? Now, if I want to put some power behind that jab, let's say I did a flick, cross, and now I want to end with a jab because sometimes they expect you to end with a hook, right? One, two, three, right? One, two, three, right? Just like that. Well, sometimes, it, this could be a, a jab can be a good knockout punch because 
The knockout comes from the punch you don't see. And the power and the speed, okay? Now, what I want to do, okay, is I want to throw my opponent off a little bit. I might throw some one, two, threes. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right. One, two, three. Ooh. You know, just like that. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then, right, just get, get them used to that. And then at some point, I'm going to throw that one. I'm going to flick that one. Throw that two. And I'm in with a jab, except this jab is going to be straight, okay? See, I'm here at first, right? This, this is where I start. When you throw that jab or you, when you throw it straight, you're coming straight out, right? Just like that. Now, you don't flare the elbow. You don't drop the shoulder because some cats drop the shoulder when they're about to throw a jab, okay? That's why they tell you to wash the shoulder in a fight, you watch the shoulder, if they, drop that jet, the, if they drop that shoulder, they may be coming with that, uh, that cross or that jab. Some people will drop their hand before they throw that jab. Right, they'll go like that. And they'll still punch straight or they'll do like this. They'll flare their elbow out and throw that jab out. Now, you don't want to do that. If you don't want, to see that, if you don't want the, your opponent to see that jab coming, you want to come straight from your face or wherever you hold that front arm. If you're Philly style, you're here, right? You know, Philly style or, uh, you know, uh, Muhammad Ali style, your arm is down, your front arm is down, and you're flicking it out, right? You gotta be real quick with that though, okay? You see, you notice though, now I'm coming straight out, even in the Philly style, bam, bam, just like that, bam. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, you know, if I'm in that Philly style, I'm coming straight up. Bam, just like that. Whack, just like that. Okay? Now, if I throw that jab at the end of the combo, I'm here, right? So, first you start, if you Philly style, you start off with that. You might flick it, cross, and you cover in your face. You don't drop it back down to Philly. Okay? You cover it back up. Cross. And then you end with that jab like this, right? Straight from the face, out. Just like that. You don't want to drop your shoulder. You don't want to drop your hand. You don't want to flare that elbow. You want to come straight out. Boom, just like that. Bam. And then not only that, you're going to torque your entire body, okay? Like you're shooting an arrow from a bow. I'm not just, I'm not just doing this, right? I'm turning. So like that, bam, bam. Turning my whole body, I'm turning my, I'm turning my hip into it, I'm turning my shoulders into it, I'm turning my chest into it. I'm bam, just like that. So I'm boom, boom, bam, just like that, okay? You set them up, one, two, one. That one, two, one will throw them off, you'll catch them, you'll lay them out, okay? You can't lay somebody out with a jab. Same thing with the cross though. Right, throwing that cross, you know, bam, 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 bam. Maybe give him a few flicks, flicks, flick, flick, bam, bam, bam. You set him up for that cross. Now when that cross comes, you don't want him to see it. Even with the overhand right, you don't want him to see that coming. So you gotta distract him, right? Do different things, wow, wow, bam. Move over here, move over, and then, Maybe catch him, maybe feign an uppercut or catch him to the body, right? Get him to the body, maybe hit the back, you know what I'm saying? The elbow might be down. So you want to get behind that elbow with that hook to the body, boom. Catch him, right? And then you might want to uppercut, right? Uppercut to the chin, bring that head up. When you get that head up, boom. You come down with that overhand right, okay? And then, but even with the overhand, even though it's like a sweeping punch, it's still straight from your face. You're not flaring, you're not dropping your shoulders. You're just here, wham. Cause see, if I throw an uppercut, my body is turned this way. When I come around with that uh, overhand, boom. I'm coming down like that, automatically. 
There is no this. I'm not winding up and coming down. I'm not doing this, right? Coming straight from my face. Also, if you throw a straight cross, not an overhand, elbows down, right? Bam, straight out, straight out. See, I didn't drop this shoulder. I didn't drop this shoulder. Bam. Okay. I threw that jab. Now I'm turned. Bam. That's my load up for my cross. I load it up. Bam. And I, and I did that. Okay. Those are just a couple of pointers. Straights are very important. I'm a straight guy. I like straights. I like crosses too. But I kind of like to use my cross to do check hooks. You do a good check hook to an aggressive fighter who likes to come in, okay? You might have to set him up a little bit with the jab, feint a couple crosses, whatever. Um, make him come to you, lay that trap, as they call it. So when they come in aggressively, and they might, they might throw a, a cross, right? You get under that cross with that check hook, but your elbow, you still got that line from your two knuckles to your elbow. You're not like this, you're not like that. You're not loose. This has to be tight. At least your hand, your forearm, that's gonna be tight, but you're gonna whip it. You're gonna whip it, right? You're gonna whip it from your hip and from the ground. You're turning your foot and you're whipping that fist around. That's what creates the great hook. That'll knock a motherfucker out. Even a check hook. With a check hook, I might not turn that much. I might just, he, see he has the momentum coming toward me, okay, already. And if he's leaning forward, they get tired. Sometimes guys lean over at the waist as opposed to, you know, kneeling at the legs, bending at the knees, right? Okay? So if they're aggressive and they're coming and they're bending forward at the waist, you can catch them with that check hook. You can step back. Boom, catch him with that check hook. That might take him out. It'll at least slow him down, slow that momentum up. So you can catch him with that check hook, maybe a, a, a rear uppercut. Bam, 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 or something like that, okay? There's a, lot of method, there's a lot of method to this, okay? Straights are very important, very important. You know, like I saw one particular cat's uh, Muay Thai fight and Brother was swinging wild in a mug, okay? Throwing nothing but wild ass hooks and shit like that. No straights. This is very important. The straight is the foundation, okay? It sets everything else up. And if you can catch somebody with that, with that cross, that means the rear punch, the rear straight. That's what a cross is, because you're crossing your body, right? Well, you're not really crossing your body, but your fist is gonna essentially cross your body to get to the target, okay? The jab is straight out. Remember, straight out, like that. You're still turning that fist over, but you don't need to telegraph to turn that fist over. You can just turn that fist over. It's like that, just like that. Now, <clears throat> there is also the Mike Tyson jab, okay? Which is wholly different, it's almost like a it's almost like a hook. That's the kind of power you can bring behind it. But you're throwing it from the shoulders and you're turning everything. So I'm here, I'm low. I then did a, I did my peekaboo shit. And then when I throw that cross, I'm here, bam, bam. And it's like a, it's almost like a hook. Like it's like this, right? What it's designed to do is turn, twist that chin. That's what it's designed to do. Twist that chin for that cross. Or that uppercut, twist, bam, just like that, okay? So that Mike Tyson, wham. and it's designed to get you in closer. So you're here, and you're here, and you're taking small steps, and you're closer, bam, you hit the body. There's a lot of method, okay? I'm in this right now and finish my workout. I've been here for like 20 minutes, enjoying teaching you guys how to throw a proper punch, but I gotta get back to it, all right? There will be more videos like this, Someday I'm gonna show some good kicks, some good Muay Thai kicks that you can use to end the fight quickly. 
you're gonna chop somebody down real quick because they're not gonna expect it unless they're a trained fighter and you don't need to let them know that you are. So that's the key, all right? So I'm gonna get back to it. Peace out, y'all. Look out for more of these type of videos. Peace.